Hi, I'm Roger DeRue, and my website is freecomputerconsultant.com. What I wanted to talk about today in the screencast is more about screen resolution in Windows XP. After my last video on how to change your screen resolution, I've had quite a few follow-up questions. Uh, one in particular, uh, a person wanted to know how to select a specific screen resolution that I think was like 1600 by 1050 or something like that, which is a widescreen resolution. Now to get to our screen resolution, the easiest way is to just pick an open area of the desktop, right click, select properties, and then choose this settings tab up here. Now first of all, you can see that the display here, the, uh, the operating system knows that I have the Sync Master 950 from Samsung. I have a Radeon 7500 family video card. If it says something else here, like maybe, uh, you know, generic video card, or excuse, excuse me, plug and play monitor on some kind of generic video card, uh, that's not the specific one to your machine, then you're not going to get the screen resolutions and options that uh, you really should have available to you. But one other important point is on this advanced button here, and if you select the monitor tab, you can see again the monitor type. It doesn't say plug and play, or it doesn't say unknown monitor or unknown device. It, it tells me exactly what uh, monitor I have. So it knows what this monitor is capable of and there are different refresh rates. I choose something usually 70 or above with the CRT, which is what this is, it's not a flat panel. Because with 60, you'll get some kind of blinking that uh, may or may not be discernible to some people, but it's kind of annoying to those it is. But this little checkbox right below is rather important. It says hide modes that this monitor cannot display. And I typically like to leave that checked because if you uncheck it, you'll get a lot more options back here under the screen resolution, but they won't, probably won't work and uh, you'll likely just get a black screen and hopefully after uh, either pressing the escape key or a 15 second timeout, Windows will return you to what you had. But the other thing you want to make note of is the type of monitor you have. If it's a widescreen monitor or a standard, uh, more squarish monitor. And in the non-widescreen, you typically have monitors where the uh, screen resolution or size is in either a 4 to 3 ratio or a 5 to 4 ratio. And you can see with 1280 by 1024, that's a 5 to 4 ratio. You can also choose something like, uh, you know, maybe the standard 1024 by 768. That's a 4 to 3 ratio. Things will look a little bit different on the same monitor that way. And actually, if you uh, check out the monitor that you have, you know, maybe on the website or even on the box it came in, it'll probably tell you what the ideal uh, screen resolution is for that monitor. And, and a lot of times you'll want to pick that. But with these uh, older CRTs, this is a, a rather large CRT, it had a lot of options and, and you can pick a lot of different uh, resolutions for depending on what you want to do. But you can check that out. You just go to your start uh, button here, click run, and type in calc for the calculator. And you can just do a little bit of uh, division here to find out what you actually have. For instance, uh, 1024 divided by 768 is 1.33. Well, that's a 4 to 3 ratio, and I know that because 4 divided by 3 is 1.33. Now, if you look at some of these other options here, and you end up with, say, uh, you can kind of tell by looking at the blue box with the number 1, whether it's widescreen or whether it's, uh, it's not, and you see 1280 by 768 is widescreen. I will double check that. And since this isn't a widescreen monitor, I really don't want to do that and you show it's 1.66, so that's actually a 16 by 9 ratio, which you probably will recognize as widescreen. But for this monitor and for what I'm doing, typically the 1024 by 768 or the, the uh, 1280 by uh, 1024 is pretty comfortable, so we leave it at that. And there you have it. hope this gives you a little bit more information about changing the resolution on your monitor and choosing what's appropriate for what you are currently working with and how to check that out, you know, widescreen versus the 4x3 or the 5 to 4 Please go to my website, www.freecomputerconsultant.com. I've got other videos, articles, a lot of tips and tricks, free newsletter you can sign up for, and I hope you will watch again. Thank you for watching this video.